Hello, this is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brain Wagon Blog. It's been a while since I've done too many videos or anything, but uh, I've got a day off today, and uh, I've been working on this plot, this uh, idea I've had for quite some time, which is an improvement to my old angst Arduino satellite tracker project. Um, trying to use some of these ESP8266 modules. So um, I've got one here in the back, which is in the Arduino form factor. It's made by Wemos D1. I got this one for about six or maybe $7 off of Banggood. Um, they're kind of cool because they have the Ar regular Arduino form factor. They're not um, exactly pin compatible. There are some shields that don't work with it, but uh, some do. And uh, it's kind of fun. Eventually, um, I want to use a little module like this. This is called the Wemos uh, D1 Mini. And uh, so they have a little ESP module on the back. And they're very, very simple. Uh, I didn't have any headers soldered onto this one, which is why I'm using this larger one. Here I have a uh, one inch OLED. We'll get to that in a minute. And uh, previously I set up a clock using uh, this module with uh, one of these four digit displays. This one has a TM1637. Um, and it works well as a clock, but uh, I wanted something a little fancier. And toward that end, uh, I implemented this. So uh, when the thing wakes up, it connects to Wi Fi and gets the time from the NTP server and fetches the orbital elements for the ISS from Celeste Track and then displays and tells you what Greenwich Mean Time is and displays a satellite. You can see that uh, the satellite's out there over Russia slash China. So this is actually working pretty well. I'm using a library that was made uh, for the ESP8266 and the SSD1306, which is what these little one inch LEDs are. See that flashing blink. And it's kind of cool because it creates a, a framework that you can use to do graphical things like this that transition between multiple views. I'll eventually add a latitude, longitude, nearest city, elevation, that kind of thing. Um, I have been having a little problems with uh, reliability. And for a while I thought it was like maybe the cabling or maybe the controller or something, but now I'm beginning to think that it's because when I tried to do more calculation to display the map mode, it seemed to glitch maybe more than it would and uh and then it would screw up the display and the display would remain black for a while and then it would cycle back i'm going to go through the code a little bit and see if i can figure out what's going on it's not clear to me exactly what time you have left inside this when you're running this uh how much time you have to display and where you can adjust it i tried adjusting the frames per second down lower and that did something kind of surprising to me so i'm not quite sure what's going on but anyway, eventually all this code will be available. This uh, the satellite prediction stuff is based on my satellite tracker stuff that I wrote before, and uh, I'd kind of like to have a bigger display. This is pretty small. Uh, let's see, put my thumb in there. You know, by comparison, my old guy eyes can't read this display super well, and it's hard to actually spot the satellite location. But uh, it's kind of fun. Um, I probably can also get it to do. Uh, to like fetch the weather reports and stuff, which would be kind of a nice little demo. Anyway, this is what I do on a Friday. Uh, this has been Mark Van Wetter of the Brain Wagon Blog.